Yo, 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 welcome. So, veteran, iconic, legendary dancehall artist, Beanie Man has once again secured himself a United States visa and is able to travel, you know, to the United States, you know, to perform music duties. Now, for many who don't know this, a lot of dancehall artists lost their, tra uh, their traveling privileges back in the day. You know what I mean? Beanie Man was one of them, you know what I mean? Sizzler, Kalanji, Bounty Killer, you know, and a slew of others, I don't know. Many have had their traveling rights returned to them. You know what I mean? I don't know being one of such and Sizzler also, you know what I mean? But Bounty Killer never received back his visa. However, in that time frame, Beanie Man received a visa, you know what I mean? and he lost his visa after receiving it it is said that you know what i mean someone was taking down a significant sum of money you know what i mean and as you know if you're traveling you're not supposed to travel you know carrying a certain amount of money so the person said that they were bringing the money for being a man and being a man said of course that person is bringing the money for me and as such he lost is traveling rights under unscrupulous situation very unfortunate for the artist but right now it is being said that the artist has been granted permission to travel again and i want to say congrats to being man this time and please be very careful do not trust anybody you have like you have a small amount of flame left in your career you know what i mean i think you're past your prime but now is the time for you to just settle down and enjoy the rest of your days touring the world and performing and sharing that joy of music you know what I mean, sharing your talent with everybody at this point in your life you don't want to be being a man the veteran that can't travel but while there has been some good news uh, for being a man bounty killer is still left in the visa doghouse you know what i mean he's still unable to travel to the united states and he has an album coming up and you would expect that bounty killer you know what i mean would be you know benefiting greatly you know what i mean from a visa at this point you know what i mean because you know jamaicans don't purchase music so it would be definitely um, beneficial for bounty killer to receive a visa and be able to travel to the united states right now to basically exploit his musical gifts you know what i mean so whichever church being a man go to or whatever bounty killer should team up their friends now and they should go to the same church you know what i mean pray to the same god do the same rituals and hopefully uh bounty killer should um get back his visa as well because when an artist cannot travel to the united states you know what i mean it's very hard for that artists to basically expose their music you know what i mean this is a country which has over 300 million people you know what i mean so definitely the american market is very valuable granted the population size does not mean that it is mandatory for you to be selling uh millions of records you know what i mean we just saw coil Lorray, who is an american recently uh sold only 9,000 copies you know what i mean so it's not mandatory that once you leave jamaica you're going to sell millions of records you know what i mean it doesn't work that way but you know what i mean it still helps with the promotion and from, from a marketing standpoint it can be very beneficial for the artists because but uh america is the superpower you know what i mean and therefore america control all things media the world looks to America for its news, you know what I mean? England's days of running things with BBC is far behind us, you know what I mean? So the American media is what controls the narrative. So if you want to market music, the American media is definitely where you should find yourselves, you get me? Because even right now, Africa is a continent, you know what I mean? And Afrobeat is on, you know, a quick ascension to the top. However, without the American media, Afrobeat would not wouldn't uh reach to the point where you can expect that it will be selling platinum you know what i mean and that's over uh, a million copies in the united states and i'm mean, sure afrobeat is quite popular in england which is also another uh, another superpower you know what i mean but the england market uh first of all the platinum mark is lower than the american mark you know what i mean and the media is not strong enough to galvanize people outside of that region you know what I mean to support the music so you want to double in the American market you want to be on the American media platforms you want to expose yourselves to the American market granted it is a very hard market 
you know what I mean? But once they support you, they support you. Whether your music is good or whether your music is trash. So congratulations to Beanie Man. I'm out.